Hello everyone and welcome to Retail POZ. You're probably looking right now at one of our products. If you are, you're most likely interested in one of our systems. So what we'll do today together is I'll show you and walk you through the whole process from the way beginning up to the technical side of it. So we'll start first of all by giving you an overview of the unboxing. We'll look as well at the description of each and every single one of the products that you'll be receiving in your boxes. We're also going to tackle a little bit of the technical side of it, just so that you can see how easy and user-friendly our systems are. So for people like me that are not too computer savvy, it's not that complicated to work with these systems. So let's not waste too much time and let's get on to it in your shipment. So we'll go through them one by one. Just keep in mind that these are exactly what's on the description of the listing. So you'll be receiving a cash drawer, the PC, the monitor, a thermal printer, and the bar scanner. So just depending on the location that you are, sometimes as you can see since the, uh, the items are all weighing between 40 and 50 pounds, Depending on your location, sometimes we'll be shipping it in one single box and sometimes we need to separate it just for efficiency. So really depending on your location. So don't panic. Please do not panic and don't open any cases. Everything that you see on the listing, the description is exactly what you'll be receiving and it's most likely on transit. Sometimes clients panic thinking that there's missing parts because like I mentioned, sometimes you'll be receiving the first box with a few items and the following days you'll be receiving another box with the remainder of your items. So just keep in mind that you will be receiving everything as described. So all these items will be coming. So just for shipping purposes and to avoid any extra fees from your end or our end, what we do sometimes is that we do ship them in separate boxes. Perfect. So let's see exactly what's in those boxes and start with the unboxing. So this is the box that you'll be receiving for the barcode scanner. Just keep in mind that sometimes, depending on what's remaining in stock, the box might be slightly different. However, the features of the barcode scanner is exactly the same. Okay, so let's start with the unboxing of the barcode scanner. Alright, so we'll be opening this box. You also have a manual guide that comes with it. You have the cable, and our scanner. So all you have to do is take your item, scan it. So now we'll do the unboxing of the thermal printer. So as you can see, it comes in a brand new box, item is brand new. And we'll see exactly what's in there. It's very well packed. So no chances to get damaged because it's very, very well packed. Alright, so let's see the printer right now. Let's get this baby out of this box. So as you can see, it's protected with a plastic once you get it. And that's our printer. I'll take it out of the packing so you can see it. So as you can see, brand new. All right, so now we're gonna be unpacking the monitor. In this case, this is a touchscreen monitor, 15 inch. It is very good for retail stores. Um, I would say also for restaurants, 
uh, all kinds of garment stores, apparel, depending really on the type of business that you have. So if you require to have really a touch screen monitor, this is really perfect. It's a 15 inch, comes in with all the connections and all the cables, as you can see, and it is really well packed. So the risk of it coming to you damaged is really minimal because we really make sure that we pack it properly. And we also have the 19 inch regular monitor, always depending and according to your type of business and your needs. So just make sure down in the description that you choose the right item. All right, so let's now do the unboxing of the cashier. So this is exactly how you will be receiving it. So as you can see, is well protected with plastic and even protection around it in order to make sure that all the edges are not going to get ruined or damaged through the uh, the transportation. It is uh, is made out of steel, as you can see, very very solid. So it is going to last for quite a while with your business. Very good. So now let's open the PC and unbox the PC. So this is a central unit that you will be receiving. It is 100% functional. We test them. They're very powerful for our software, so it does definitely work with our POS systems. And we make sure prior to sending anything to you that everything is functional and working. So as you can see, very well packed. Once again, you may receive everything in the same box or in separate boxes but you will definitely be receiving all the pieces that you have ordered. So all the products in the description are definitely going to be received. All right, so now that you've seen all the products that you'll be receiving, let's start connecting them. So we'll get them out of the boxes, we'll connect them in order to show you exactly how it works. Okay, now let's start by plugging our printer. So we're going to start first with this piece here, which you have received in the printer box. So go ahead and plug it into the power. This is the part that's gonna power your unit, the thermal printer. So right here, nothing too complex. And the other part goes directly into the outlet. Step two, we will undo this one here. This is the other cable. So, once you've undone it, this piece here, so the square little piece, will go directly into right here. You see it? So, we will enter this baby right there. And the USB, guys, one common mistake is that people will plug it directly to the PC. Don't do it right away, just hold on to it for now. For the next step first, will be really to install the driver of the thermal printer. So first install that and right after then you'll be able to plug your USB cable into the PC. Now we do have a manual, you can either look into the manual here, you can also look at our tutorials on our website, so www.retailpoc.com or you can just watch this video and we'll show you step by step how to plug everything and how to have everything functional. Perfect, so let's do a small recap. So once again, for the thermal printer, step one, plug the power cable right here. Step two, the USB, plug it right there. But like I mentioned to you guys before, and do not plug it right away to your PC. Wait until first you have installed your driver and only after you'll be able to plug that. Now, this piece here, this is the most common issue that we have with clients. So they're not sure exactly what to do with that. So they'll either put their telephone line in there, uh, all kinds of cables in there, but they're not sure exactly what it's useful for. So I will show you what it is for. You have a cable that comes with your cash drawer. So you can see it's a one end cable. It looks like a telephone line cable. And this will go right into here. So I'll go ahead and plug it for you guys. Right here, as simple as that. Perfect. So just a quick recap, power cable, USB cable that goes right in here, and then you have 
the cash drawer cable, which looks like a telephone line that will be plugged right into here. And that's connected directly with your cash drawer. So guys, I think I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video that with your cash drawer, you will be receiving as well two keys that will be coming with it. So you, you are going to be getting that and that's for your cash drawer and that's right here in order to open it. So the two keys do come with it. Alright, so now we'll proceed and plug our monitor. So if you have a touch screen monitor, you will have to plug the blue cable and a USB cable. If you have a regular monitor, only the blue cable will have to be plugged. So let's get into it. The blue cable, which is a VGA cable, will be plugged directly into the blue socket that you have in your PC, normally on the back. So just like that. And then, because it's, like I said, a touch screen, you will have to plug your USB, and that will go directly into the USB port. That's it. As simple as that, your monitor is now plugged. All right, so now we're gonna proceed and plug our PC. So for the PC, you have the power cable and you also have the part that goes directly into the outlet. So let's go ahead and plug our PC. So this one here goes directly right there. And there we go. And then the other part directly into the outlet. The power button right here. We also have the blue socket for the blue cable, which is right here, and the USB that will go right here, which is a little square. So it's either, depending on the model that you're gonna be receiving, it's either the square for the USB or the cable right here, which has exactly the same functionalities. So three things to remember once again, the power, the blue cable, and the USB. We'll go ahead and plug them right away. Power cable into the monitor, the 15 inch touch screen monitor. So, right here. And that's it, it's in. We're good. Alright, so we got everything set up right now. Everything is plugged, everything is set up. I even plugged, remember in the right beginning, I did mention that for the printer, the USB cable, do not plug it to the PC. Well, I just plugged it as the drivers are already installed. So we provide you as well with a roll to start up your business. All you have to do is put it in the thermal printer and right inside it even tells you how to put it in. So do not put it this side, this side, this side in. It's got to be put in this side. Okay, right like this. Put it in. Very simple. And can go ahead and close the printer. Perfect. And we can go ahead and close that. As simple as that. All right. So now our 15-inch monitor is plugged in. So now we're ready. We are ready to start. So we've got everything set up. Everything is connected. Everything is plugged in. We've got our printer, thermal printer, right here that is plugged. And the roll, as I mentioned, is already inside. So that's our thermal printer. We have the cash drawer that is already connected as well. We've got our monitor right here, already connected. Our PC and my scanner. I also plugged in the USB right here in the front and this is for the scanner as it is wireless. Okay, so you can either order it with wire or wireless. So in my case, it, with this description, that listing, it was wireless. So this is for the purpose of this uh, this presentation. I am showing you the wireless one. Same thing with a monitor. Make sure that on your description, you have a touch screen if that's really what you want. And if it's just a regular 19 inch, make sure that you order it as well. So just revise your, your the listing and the description prior to ordering to make sure that you've ordered exactly what you're looking for. So. This is really regarding the products. We will also provide you with a small manual that is going to come in each and every single box that you're going to be receiving. So it's a, it's an instruction basically and you have also the support lines in the back so how to contact us uh, by email, all kinds of information that you need to know and also what 
the computer comes with. So you have a description, a full description of what it comes with. Perfect, so that's gonna be in your box. Now, let's look into our computer. What are we getting with that? So here, a couple of things that you need to remember, okay? Your computer, so the desktop, which is when I refer to the desktop, I'm really referring to your monitor, what's on the monitor. So what we've included is two software, okay? You've got a orange logo here that we called POS1. And then you also have another one here, right on the top. Could be anywhere, by the way, but for this one here, it was installed here on the bottom and one on the top. And POS2. So basically, those two softwares are very user-friendly. However, the orange one has many more features. So depending on the business, the kind of business that you have, you need to set all kinds of reportings and uh, all kinds of features. You're gonna find them in that software. If you're looking into something that is less complex and it's for a smaller business, then in that case, I would suggest that you go with that one here. Then if it's something much less complex and a small operation, a small business, uh, if you're not too computer savvy and really want something that is simple and user friendly, then I would suggest that you go with that one here. Obviously, you can always uh, purchase another software if you're not comfortable with neither of these two softwares. The computer is already set up and it could support any type of, uh, any type of software, so you can purchase any of your choice if you're not comfortable with neither of those. Now we also have an instruction, uh, an instruction guide that is included with your PC. So it's right here and it's a Word document. So it gives you basically all the details that I have given you and provided you with, but it's in the Word document so it tells you exactly how to install all the, uh, all the equipment that you've received. And then you also have the drivers. So what we've done is that we've included the drivers for the printer. So in case you lose the CD or you misplaced it, in order for you to have a backup of it, we've included also the drivers. If you have a monitor that is a touch screen, you also have all the, uh, the drivers are also installed directly into your PC. So those are really the features that we've included with your, uh, with your unit. So just make sure that you go over everything. All right. So now what we'll do is that we're gonna ring a sale. So you're probably asking yourselves, how am I gonna do this? So very, very simple. We'll use now the orange software, which is the orange logo on your PC. Since this is a touch screen, I'm just gonna click on that. So I'm gonna press on login. Once you press on login, you can also set up a password, but for the purpose of this video, I did not add any passwords. So I'm just going to go ahead and press on OK and there you go, you have your, your software screen that is right here and now I can add a product and I can also ring up a product if it's already entered in the system. So I've already entered one and if I take my scanner, I take my product, so I'll take the barcode that is right here and I'm going to go ahead and scan it and as you can see it appears right on my screen with a price, so I'll validate that all the information are correct. So here, for that purpose, I wrote test, $2.19. You can also add a warranty if you get warranties, if you're shipping your item, if there's a gift receipt. So you have all kinds of features. So like I said, very, very user-friendly. You can add your taxes if there's any taxes. And then if you're good with that and the sale is good, let's just press on tender. Please collect the $2.19, so was it paid cash or... I'm just gonna press on OK because the amount was good. And submit. So you can either enter your client's information or you can skip the screen and then confirm your transaction. So that's the screen you're gonna get. Transaction done and OK. And it prints right off the printer. So you have your copy, and there we go. As simple as that, guys. All right, everybody. So now we've got everything set up. In terms of the cash drawer, once you print normally your receipt, the cash drawer will open up. Now, a common mistake that, that a lot of our customers do is that they'll leave it unlocked because the key has three different features. So if it's straight down, like this, 
is locked position. So that means that depending on the type of business that you have, if you make a sale and you print the receipt, it will not open up, it will stay locked up. So even if it gives a kick, we, uh, a kick message to the cash drawer, cash drawer will not open up if it's in that position. Now, if you want your cash drawer to open up when you make a sale, keep it on that position. So that's the online position. Keep it like this. Once you make a sale, I'll make a demonstration right away. Horizontal position, just like that, on a flat position. And that's gonna be able to open your cash drawer. We'll make a demonstration in a few minutes. Now, if you want your cash to open up, so at the end of the day, let's say you're, you wanna open up your cash and take everything, what you can do is just click like this, it will open up. Okay, perfect, so for the cash drawer, if uh, for X reason it doesn't open when you ring a sale, then what I would suggest to do would be, there's a few things. Number one, you would go into your computer, onto your desktop, and go into devices and printers. Click on that. Once it opens up, you're gonna see by default your printer, which is POS 58. Reason it's 58 for 58 millimeters for the row or two and a quarter inches paper roll. If you right click on it, you'll see the printer property. So once you're on your printer, right click on it and then you'll see the printer properties. Click on printer properties and you'll see here the devices setups. Click on that. And you see here, cash drawer, you have several options. So it's a scrolling bar. Most likely, if it doesn't open up, it's because your cash drawer is probably set up on no cash drawer. So just go ahead and put it as open cash drawer, either before or after printing, as per your preference. In my case, I'll go ahead and do it after printing. So I want first my bill to print, and once it prints, then in that case, the cash drawer should open up. How about we do a demonstration? So, I'm gonna take my scanner. We'll go into the orange and look at the code. So you see it on the screen, it appears right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and press on tender because yes, this is exactly the price for my item, tender. And let's say the client pays with a $5 bill. So five and okay. I'm going to skip that screen unless you want to enter customer ID and all these details, but in my, for that purpose, I don't need that information. I'll skip. Transaction done. I am going to confirm my transaction and press on OK. My bill is printing and my cash drawer is not opening because I have left the key unlocked. So this is very important guys and I have mentioned it at the beginning and that's exactly why I did it this way because I wanted you guys to see that it did kick so it did send a signal to kick the cash but it did not open up so now I'm going to turn the key and put it like that and we'll do another demonstration to see if it's going to work so let's redo this we'll scan tender $5 bill my client is paying with I'll say okay and I'm going to skip that screen. Let's confirm my transaction and my cash should pop open right after the bill has been printed. There we go. So as you can see, the cash drawer has sufficient place to put all kinds of bills and then your coins as well. So to finish up, those are all the products you will be receiving. So once again, the PC refurbished. So the PC and the monitor only items that you will be receiving that are not new, they're refurbished, but in very good condition. You also have the cash drawer, monitor like I said, just be careful to just choose the right item, so either the touch screen, like in that purpose, or 15 inch touch screen, or if you prefer just a regular one, 19 inch, but it is not a touch screen. You have the thermal printer, and then we have the barcode scanner. So once again, be careful, either wireless or 
with uh, with a court, depending on the type of business and your preferences. So that's everything that you're going to be receiving. You're also going to get all the uh, all the drivers that are installed, the manual for the guide, and then you also have the software. Like I said in the beginning of my video, if uh, the software are not compliant with whatever business you are in, then don't worry about that. The system is uh, is built in a way that you can add any type of software in there. So just order one, whether it's online or wherever you want, and you can just install it. You'll be able to install it directly in the system. So thank you very much. So if you have any questions, concerns, inquiries, don't hesitate to go and contact us directly on www.retailpoc.com and we'll gladly answer all your questions. Have a great day!